Pisces, always last but never least, welcome. It's your heart spread reading for January 2022. This is a love, romance, and relationship reading for you, shown here with the Eight of Swords. It's your energy in and around love and relationships in this eight card reading here. And your person's coming in with the Four of Swords, their energy in and around love and relationship. I wouldn't say either one of them was a good energy to be in, in terms of uh, love and relationship. And in both cases, uh, that energy would be bringing it forward into your relationship. I try to see the one and two cards as you and them, kind of just as you are in yourselves here. Um... And so it typically speaks more towards past energy and relationships. Um, and both of these are sort of the uh, negative energies in, in your mind, mental patterns, in terms of love, relationship. Oh my God, it'll never work. It always goes bad. When's the other shoe going to fall? And so I would say, though, that if for them, it's kind of this is a better energy to be in because. This is someone that's healing, and with the swords, um, they may have some awareness of it here. Um, what's interesting is, well, with you, with the Eight of Swords, that's uh, being isolated, not kind of knowing what to do. Um, it's like a feeling of like, no matter, all my choices, none are good. Um, it, you can't really pick anything. It's kind of shutting down. Uh, always with uh, Eight of Swords, the advice is to reach out and not be isolated. And I kind of think that's what happened here because there's a similarity in the energy. And so likely your first encounter, uh, whether it was you or them, I'm not sure here, probably you with the page looking uh, into the reading. Um, here, Pisces, uh, but probably it was like commiserating about your feelings and communicating about how like bad you feel about something in the past or uh, love in general. And I think you're you're both in stages of I don't know grief or or coming to terms with the past relationship, getting some kind of closure and, and that kind of thing. Um, that kind of what brings you in together. I think the way that they're reacting to you, they're moving towards you into the reading with the Seven of Swords. I really don't know that that's them lying, cheating, and stealing. I think what this is is strategic thinking that there's part of the energy they were in was being stuck. Uh, it's kind of being down, down in the sense, kind of put yourself down. You're like, basically, you just tell yourself, I. I'm in no shape to make a decision right now. I'm going to just chill for a minute. And I'll get back to you. Um, this kind of this energy. Um, but with you coming to them with the energy of strength, the way you feel about them is very strong. That's a gray card right here because this is how you feel. And if, if you feel this way about any person, they make you feel like the strength card. It's hard to see that as a bad thing, you know. Um, if they're love bombing you and narcissists and this is some kind of inflated craziness, no. I really don't think that's what we have here. What I think is the way they're reacting to you is they're, they're realizing that they really need to make a change um, in their life. And it probably is about a relationship. They probably need to detach. Uh, my guess is like they're not like in a marriage or living with someone, um, but it's a situation where they're entangled and meshed and maybe they don't want to be type of situation. Um, and when it comes to dealing with you, it's with this air of uh, strategic thinking. And if they're not, then you need to, I believe, with this would be, especially with the page of wands, that's your advice how to deal with them, take action, you know, uh, with them. Um, it's kind of like... Uh, it's not marry them, it's take action, get involved, uh, roll your sleeves up, get involved in their life, uh, have some kind of uh, romance, okay? Uh, and there's an element of passion here. I mean, coming under the strength card, um, I think you need that. With the eight of swords and the four swords, either way, um, passion is what's going to bring you back to life, really, and going to welcome you back to the game. 
Um, you look at it that way. Um, now, because they have the Ten of Cups underneath the Seven of Swords, why well, I think it's like they, they're kind of having to, they're going to have to realign themselves with their own desire for the Ten of Cups energy, which we all want, the happy family, emotional, emotional fulfillment. Especially in terms of love, romance, and relationship, you know. Um, you know, it's the only uh, cup here. And we have the emperor on the bottom of the deck. So, I think it with the emperor on the bottom of the deck, um, it's talking about you. You're coming in with the strength card there. So, you're coming in with some kind of dominance here, Pisces. Um, probably wanting to assert yourself not wanting to change um whatever had you in this eight of swords energy you probably come to some kind of conclusion as to you know how not to let that happen again um with that it's mental patterns maybe you go oh i see what i do i go too fast i uh withhold i um you know uh, don't uh, respect myself enough to really explore the red flags that I always find or and so like it's an element of like trying to fix that and I think that's what they'll be doing too with the seven uh, swords actually good energy to come out of four swords with I mean you don't stay in the four swords forever you know that's when they meet you they're starting to come out of that and, and with the moon this is the advice for the relationship as a whole so with their advice being the Ten of Cups, and that's very important to me. That's advice from spirit for them. And how to react to you, how to perceive you, what does this relationship with you mean to them? And it's you are their Ten of Cups. And it's like, so I think they know it. You know, you just sort of caught them in a place where they weren't really ready to you know, um, be, uh, probably they're surprised in, about this uh, feeling, how deep the feelings run, you know, uh, because now your advice spirits, the page of wands, that's very positive too, it's looking right into the reading, um, so it's like, if Barrett is telling you it's okay to move towards them, and page is communication, it could be simply, this is you simply expressing the strength of your passion, what a beautiful strength card that is you know uh, this is our nouveau deck so and the moon is coming it real kind of bridge the crux of the heart spread here core of it and this is all about um, deep emotions the ic and your composite chart even i would go there to kind of look at this as composite this is more like sinistry energy if i'm going to look at astrology you know uh so uh, deep emotions uh, on the IC. This is actually Pisces energy too, you could say. So um, this could say emotionally that this becomes um, a relationship that's favorable to you. It's uh, why you're being asked to kind of move into it with some kind of passion. Offer your passion to this, to them, you know. Uh, uh, take that step because one thing about the moon, it also can be something unseen, something uh, hidden, uh, a little bit frightening. But I feel more, this is the energy of you guys emotionally really coming together here. She's got these two wolves howling at the moon, the two towers. I mean, this is a, this is a cup's energy. It's strong emotion. It's spicy, so... Um, and that gives some emotion to you, too, in this reading, okay? Um, but with the emperor's the overall energy, it's like what comes to me is like you're not messing around here. That's why you're coming in with strength. So with the outcome being the king of swords, I think what you end up is a kind of relationship that's very strong. If you look in a composite, your sun may be in an air sign, um, or your AC, most likely is going to be in an air sign. Um, and it's going to be the kind of relationship that's uh, it's open and honest and strong. And um, people will kind of see you as a strong couple. When I see a king or queen here in the outcome, it usually indicates to me, too, that 
in some way that you guys blend and come together, which would be seen like in the sinistry. Uh, you uh, make each other stronger. You uh, don't make each other weaker. So as a couple, it would be like a strong couple. I mean, you could say a power couple. You know, uh, people that are likely to speak out, you're going to speak to each other. It's not going to be a Neptunian-themed relationship, I call it, where it's based upon fantasy a little bit and kind of not saying things and uh, maintaining this some illusion of romanticism or something. It's a, a little bit nuts and bolts kind of relationship. Uh, if you have uh, your Pisces has Aquarian placements in your personal planets, they... They would like this kind of relationship. Um, uh, it could be very committed and everything. It doesn't mean it's not emotional. It's just uh, it's just out there, honest, open kind of energy here. So let me know what you think of this, Pisces. I appreciate it. This is our January start with the heart spread. And uh, do hit the like, please. Helps move things along a little bit. Try to get this out a little more. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Hit the bell. Thank you, guys.